I am a first descendant Australian South Sea Islander. What Australian South Sea Islander 150 commemoration means to me is we need to know our own history. A brief overview. We are not Indigenous to Australia. However, in 1993, the United Nations Working Group on Indigenous and Minority Peoples identified Australian South Sea Islanders as population transfer. Today, we are still struggling to secure the same benefits and services equal to that of other Australians. Recognition by the federal government in 1994 has not made a difference to our needs being met. In the early 1900s, the first political Pacific Islander meeting was held in Mackay, Queensland. In 1975, a political force was born in the Australian South Sea Islanders United Council at Tweed Heads, New South Wales. It was driven by, by a force for self-determination. In naming the organisation, the word Kanaka was being deb debated. The term was seen as derogatory. The Australian South Sea Islanders was chosen. We knew there was a hard road ahead. We began to reclaim our history of the blackbirding era. In 1968, Indigenous Australians were granted special benefits and the right to vote. Australian South Sea Islanders thought that they were part of the Indigenous community until they had to identify identify by pr proving bloodline through Indigenous heritage. Today, the division remains. Too many Austra Australian South Sea Islanders are identifying as Indigenous Australians. This amounts to political suicide in statistics. Statistics determine the level of services awarded by governments. This disastrous scenario can be resolved by allocating the same benefits except land rights to Australian South Sea Islanders as those afforded to Indigenous Australians. All it takes is a stroke of a pen. We do need to speak out. Revalue the word Kanaka in the 21st century. Understand the effects of the slave trade along the east coast of Australia and address the minimum band-aid services through grants and the like that have come our way. We have a cause for pride in the survival of our communities and heritage. Memory and cultural identity require active communication for the sake of our children. We need to know our own history.